Are you looking for a better way to manage your garden hose without using these cheap plastic garden hose reels? I hate those things. Well, I definitely wanted a better way to manage my garden hose. And in my research, I came across a highly rated retractable garden hose reel made by Giraffe Tools. And I'll walk you through all of the steps that I follow in order to get this baby installed on a six by six wooden post in my backyard. Let's do this. Our very first step is to dig our hole. And for us, I'm putting it right in front of the deck that faces our garden. So we have easy access from the hose reel. Now I'm doing something a little different this time that I've never done before. And I'm mixing the concrete in the hole with this fast setting quickcrete mix. Per the recipe, you need to dig a hole that is three times the width of the post that you're putting in place. For a six by six post, that's an 18 inch hole. I'm not digging an 18 inch wide hole. I'm gonna go a little bit smaller on this one. Now I'm gonna install my post about three feet above ground level. I wanna put about half of that height below the ground in order to ensure that I get a firm base underneath in that concrete mix. To get this hole dug, you don't need any fancy equipment. Literally just a shovel and a post hole digger are your two best tools to get this done. Just make sure that you get the circumference big enough and you go deep enough in order to handle the size post and the height of the post that you're gonna put above the ground for your hose reel. So I said I wanted to go about a foot and a half below grade. Now I actually went an extra three inches below because in the bottom of this hole, I'm gonna put a three inch layer of gravel. Now, Quickcrete says you should do about six inches. I think that's a little too much, honestly. I'm gonna go with a three inch base of gravel down here, and then we'll get the post in and leveled. Before you get the post in the hole, you have to make sure that you cut it to length. I'm gonna go for four and a half feet on this one. Once that post is cut, just set it in the hole and get it into a position where it's as level as you can get it before you put the concrete mixture in the hole. Now this post is as level as I can get it right now before the concrete. Now before you pour that mix in, please do yourself a favor, grab yourself a mask. This stuff gets a little dusty. Now when you're done, the inside of the hole is gonna look something like this. Now you might end up with a little bit of dirt around the edges and that's okay but you'll see the mix is evenly spread all the way around the post. Now you wanna put one gallon of water for every bag of mix that you put in the hole, but you don't wanna put it in super fast. You wanna pour it around the post itself, wait for it to go down, and then you can continue to pour more in. And the water level's not going down super fast, so I'm helping it along here. So it takes about 20 to 40 minutes for the concrete itself to harden, but in order for it to hold any weight, Quickcrete recommends that you wait four hours before you put any sort of load against this post. It's kind of laid out here right now, and in four hours it's gonna be dark. So I'm gonna let this baby sit overnight and we'll come back tomorrow to finish it up. So the post set up nicely overnight in the concrete, and now we can move on to our next phase. First, we wanna remove all of the material that we've used to keep the post in place overnight to remain level. Then take some of the soil that you have left over from the hole and fill the remainder of the hole in so it's flush to the surface. Now I'm also adding some stones around the base just to be a little bit more decorative, but you don't have to do this. Now to get the bracket for the hose reel mounted on the post properly, we need to drill four holes where we're gonna drill our lags in that will hold it in place. In the back of the manual that comes with the hose reel, there is a template that you can rip out and use to drill your holes. Most times I don't like to use these but in this case I'm going to because I want to make sure I get these in the right spot. You can see why the 6x6 post is so important because this bracket is super wide and barely fits on here. Drill all four holes right through the holes in the template so that they go into the depth that you need to get your lags in place in the post. Once that's done you can remove it. Remove the pin from the back of the hose reel so that you can get the bracket off for installation. Now line up the holes in the bracket with the pre-drilled holes you just put into your post. Now take your lags and put them into each of the holes. Just make sure that the bracket is in place before you tighten your lags down. But assuming everything is good to go, put these babies in nice and tight. Now all we have to do is connect the reel to the bracket. Just slide it right on top of the bracket and take your pin and put it right down from the top and it should be nice and snug and hold in place. And our last step is to connect the water line to the side of the reel and test her out. Connect the nozzle to the end of the hose and give her a shot. So far, it seems to be working pretty well. 
The installation of this retractable hose reel on the post was not incredibly difficult, but I bet you're wondering how well this Giraffe Tools retractable hose reel actually works. And for that information, click or tap on this video. And until the next time, keep doing it yourself.